acknowledging that we are gathered today on the unceded traditional territory of the Simshan peoples of Kitsilcamp and Kitsilis. We acknowledge and thank them for allowing us to meet and learn together on their territory. I am honored to be receiving the Governor General's Collegiate Bronze Medal. This prestigious award means a lot as it shows me that others have recognized the hard work I've put forth in my studies over the years. The road to completing my degree was not always a straight one. Obstacles of having to work full time in order to support myself and go to school at the same time were challenging. There were times I went that I would have to wait for a course to come available and then have to ask my employer for time off to attend the course. Having the support of my employer and co-workers and them knowing what goal I was to achieve helped. Upon the completion of my Associate of, of Arts degree with, spe with a specialization in First Nation Studies, I plan on attending the campus of UMBC and entering the field of teaching this fall. Once I have completed my teaching program, I would like to remain in the Terrace area and teach here. There are a few people that I would like to thank who have supported me and helped me along the way. First, my parents who have always supported and encouraged me through my studies. Chris Carr in Prince Rupert and Sherry and Terrace, who both allowed me to take some of their courses outside of the timetable, knowing that I was capable of completing the course on my own. I will say the best highlight of my time attending Coast Mountain College was being able to attend the people of the Skeena Field School twice. Being out of the language preservation and cultural camp of the, Kit of the Gitsan people, learning about their territory, their history, culture, and traditional uses brought a sense of understanding of how the Gitsan people are working towards the preservation of their culture for their future generations and allowing students, like myself, to learn about a culture that is important to this part of the territory. My advice for future students and graduates is to believe in yourself, and when you put your mind to completing something, know that you will be rewarded. Completing a program or a degree is a great achievement and you should be proud of yourself for doing so. Congratulations to all the grads of 2021 on your achieved success and I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Thank you.